I need a show of hands. Do I subject myself to the to the Republican National Convention rap? Do I do I force myself to watch that? Cause like if I do, I feel like my brain might explode. Yes, everybody wants my brain to explode. Oh, I see. This is the this is the people that I've subjected myself to in my life. They want me to torture myself. Okay, fine. Fan art first. Riddle of Lightning has two pieces of fan art here. One is pizza smithing, and the other one is me talking about my wiener. As always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, drop it in the fan art section of the Discord. <gasps> Anyways, if I had to see this, you have to see it too. We're going to go ahead and turn off my background music so that you have to hear it with me in all of its glory. It's the Mayor Magaville. All right, let's go. It's the Mayor Magaville, baby. Hey, you know all right, let's go ahead and first off say, um, co-staring Amber Rose. The Mayor of Magaville is co-staring Amber Rose. I'm sure they meant to say co-starring. I'm sure, but it's way funnier and creepier for it to be co-staring. Guys, you want to do some co-staring? Where you and I stare together at a person? Strangely? Oh, boy. You know who we voting for? We voting Donald Trump, baby. Donald Trump, baby. America needs safe. Okay. I don't know if I can make it through here. I don't know if I can make it through this. I don't know if I can. This genuinely hurts my soul. I said, if we be co-staring, they're not serious, intelligent, or careful people. No, they're not. They're really not. So the lip sync is so off? Yes. The lip sync is off. The lip sync is, is not good here at all. America, Republican 4G and Tifa knows what's up. Republican 4G and Tifa knows what's up. Okay. Black, white, and brown all about to go vote Trump. You know, people who aren't part of a racist movement don't have to talk about all the races that are voting for them, usually. Just saying. Just typically said keep ice ice baby's melody out of your song i feel so bad for cherry cherry is going to upload this see that it gets demonetized and is going to be fighting with demonetization for like a solid week this video will go up after everything else because of that stop says oh my god that woman is with uh kylie's ex-wife i just realized yep is this Ice Ice Baby or Under Pressure? I don't know. It's all the same shit. Indicting our president because they can't beat him. Two -tier just Indicting our president because they can't beat him. Or is it because he's a felon and a rapist? I feel like we indict people because they're felons and rapists. Not because we can't beat them. We can beat Trump. Hammers exist. Put America first. We the big, we the big. Put America first. We're the victims. Boy, they just say it out loud now. That it's no. Look at us. We're the victims. Oh, my guy. Let's fuck Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Sing it with me. Donald Trump, baby. Is she, does she actually do any singing in this video? Like even lip singing singing, right? Like I haven't heard anything that sounds like a female voice in here. I've just heard the dude. I pledge allegiance to vote for Trump. 
Man, if you wanted to make him sound less like a dictator, you didn't do it. Eye candy? No. No, I'm sorry. No. Stargazer Lay says, why does this exist? She's not a singer. She's an actress slash TV star. Yeah, that's a weird way to say an idiot. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and make fun of reparations, an argument that was meant to try to bring equity to people who were fucked over by redlining. Instead, let's talk about reparations because we want to say that Joe Biden being president is something that you should be ashamed of. You know, he was actually one of the most progressive presidents we've ever had. Not just himself, but turns out he was actually like... From what I understand, he was one of the people who was actively trying to push Obama to let gay marriage be a thing in the United States. Like, he's actually far more progressive than I thought. Very, very awkward things to discover this late in the game. Period, sleepy Joe is a and the bloodbath in the Oval Office. And the bloodbath in the Oval Office? Afas. I feel like you should know how to rhyme, right? Like, that's a thing you should learn how to do. Afas. Ha. Huh. Also, what bloodbath was happening in the Oval Office? What bloodbath is that? The media is the enemy of the people. The Democrats and the fake news always cheat them. The media is the enemy of the people. I remember another person... Another politician who mentioned that kind of line here. Let me see here. Who was it? Who was it? Because Trump definitely did the whole a media is the media is the enemy of the people. Fairly certain there was another politician of note that said it. Let's see here. Journalists write the first draft of history, says well-worn truth. Reporting and, uh, and wrapping out some of those first drafts was a day-to-day -day thing of uh, Terrence Patty, class of 1974, Associated Press correspondent. Let's see here. Interesting. Patty retired from journalism in 2017, having spent the previous 18 years managing the Associated Press news operation in Oregon, living in Portland with his wife, Christina's son, Tristan, season newsman, blah, 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 blah. The project sprang from Petty's interest in the years that preceded the Third Reich, the social, economic, and political circumstances of the Weimar Republic, the Munich uh, and Adolf Hitler's rise to power. The Munich Post was a small paper circulation, uh, 15,000, with a dedicated socialist slant. Its editors were fearless in writing investigative pieces that exposed the brutality and corruption of Hitler's circle and unfettered in pushing the boundaries on journalistic standards with lurid and sensational stories. For readers, knowing the looming of horror of Nazi Germany makes Petty's book all the more compelling as the Post keeps the pressers rolling through the threats, physical attacks, and multiple libel cases upheld by Nazi-friendly judges. It says, as a journalist, I was trying to understand how different the news media landscape was in the 20s and 30s, and I wanted to understand how a democracy failed. Why did people not listen to journalists like those in the Munich Post who were warning about a decade, uh, decade regarding the dangers of this guy Adolf Hitler? The phrase enemy of the people has a haunting ring, of course, in contemporary America, where Donald Trump demonizes the media daily. Petty notes that echo inevitability comes up in questions after he gives readings or talks about his research. He says there are some very chilling parallels to uh, Nazi Germany, by the way. Though he cautions against comparing different political eras and countries, some of the parallels lead him back to one of the fundamental premises of his book, What Caused a Democracy to Fail. Are there any freedoms that Americans would be willing to give up for whatever they would receive in return? That's the question that still hangs in my mind. Whenever I hear enemy of the people, I immediately, th like in, in terms of media, I immediately think of Nazi Germany. Not that I want to think of Nazi Germany specifically, but these are the same kind of things that Adolf Hitler used in order to demonize the media that was 
rightfully reporting on his dumb shit. FJB is just the political slogan via the that's referred to via the euphemism "Let's go Biden, uh, let's go Brandon." So instead of saying "fuck Joe Biden, let's go Brandon," they're just saying "FJB, let's go Brandon." Baby. It's just the same shit. We're done. We're done. I My brain cannot handle any more of this uh, utter slop. It can't. And I have no idea how this is going to make it through the, the YouTube algorithm shit. He gets his information wrong. He uses the propaganda that was used for fucking Hitler back in the Weimar Republic era. It's, it's an insane... It's an insane situation. It is an insane situation to look at. This is how they opened the Republican National Convention, by the way. This screams, look at me, I'm relevant to the young voters. Ho <laughs> ho! Like a fucking 78-year-old decrepit orange Cheeto has anything to say to young voters besides fascism cool, I guess. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of whatever the hell this was i tortured myself for you leave a like for me please stargaze has a redeem king hell stargaze why are you like this why did you do this why in the middle of this video did you make me end with a fucking uwu while i'm not even behind a vtuber avatar so i can pretend that uh life is better than it is get in the goddamn pokeball and Go into a box where I'll forget about you for like 12 years until the battery on my game cart dies. Insert the video tagline here. Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability that Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here. And they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Giuni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you, Sagitta, I'm not saying that part, and Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.